What's going on, guys? So, I'm actually going to be doing kind of like a little product review of stuff I've been using. Sorry, I've been away for like the last month. Uh, I got a uh, moved up my job. It's been kind of a headache here lately. And uh, anyway, that's a whole other story. We're not even going to talk about that. But like I said, for the last month, I've been trying some new stuff out. And I'm going to come to you today and talk about to you about some stuff I've been using. All right. So every so I've been using these things called Z-Man. If you can see them, yeah, Z-Man. These things are phenomenal. Absolutely, just phenomenal. They're a little expensive, but Z-Man, compared to the other products in the world, look at this stuff. This is the TRD. Smileys love these things. But look. You take and stretch these things out for miles. Well, maybe not miles, but still. These things are hard, they're hard for the fish to bite and just ruin them. So you get multiple uses out of them. Now there is a bunch of different ways that I rig that I've been rigging them up this morning or this month. Uh, one way is on the War Eagle ball head jig. It's a straight shaft jig with the little thing up here to hook your worm up to. These things work pretty good, and I think they were, I think they work pretty good. And also, there's another one I use. It's kind of the same thing. It's a ball head jig. That's actual ball head jig compared to the you know the War Eagle, which is flat on the back. It's like a little flat surface right here, and it's got a different bait holder, which I found with the bait holders it's a whole lot easier with the Z-Man because where it is made of elastic. It does slide sometimes, and uh, I've I've seen other stuff on YouTube. I mean, you could I'll look them up, and they'll take them stick like a little pin in it, and it won't move. But there's here's a couple different ways that I set it up. Take your ball head jig, poke it through. All right, work it around as you're going through. Try to keep it straight, because the straighter it is, the more of a better presentation you have. To the smallies. Alright, so that looks good right there. Poke it up over the, move it up just a hair. Move it over the bait holder, bait stop holder. Alright, that looks a little odd, but hey. That works right there. That's how I've been catching them lifting right. Alright, so there's your one way. And I already got one pre-rigged up. This is for the flat top War Eagle. Shake your head. Which is good. And the other one that I find really good. These are Ultra Head Finesse Top Ball Head Jigs. Kind of got like a little Texas rig hook. Which... Actually, we will be Texas, Texas rigging these. All right, these are Canada Crawl Z-Man baits. And then I take this jig, this Z-Man TRD, and feed it through just a little bit. <clears throat> feed it through. I don't know, maybe right there, about like that. Bring it all the way up to the bait stop, all the way up to the ball. You should still have something about like this. Then you take and pinch it in. Try to put it in the middle. You know, presentation is everything with these smallies. Just like that. You have your Texas regular cake. Now, also, there's a secret, which it's not really a secret. You can actually make this weedless, pinch the bait up, and poke the hook in. So you kind of end up with like that right there. Now, these are phenomenal. I've used these a lot too, and the Smallies has this left and right. Absolutely phenomenal baits. Alright. Also, I went to Walmart today and bought me a 7 foot rod. Yeah, Walmart. Josh, what about all these good high quality rods out there? I ain't knocking them, but I'm a cheapskate. I got this Berkeley Cherrywood HD rod. That's a very beautiful rod. And I love a wooden court handle. I'm a fan of these things. This is a seven foot rod breakdown. 
I got it broke down right now. And uh, I'm going to be pairing this up with a... Where is she? There she is. Uh, uh, I mean, this is also a Walmart reel. I've never had a problem with a Walmart reel. This is a, a Granite twenty or 2000 series. These things are smooth as a baby's behind. And what I'm going to be pairing on this reel is some Berkeley Vanish. This stuff... Ugh, good gosh, the glare. There it is. Berkeley Vanish is 100% fluorocarbon line. Let me take it out of the packet. Alright, this is Berkeley Vanish 100% fluorocarbon. 10 pound line. And I'm going to take and spool this up. And throw me a... More than likely throw me a little Texas rig. Excuse me, TRD up. And uh, these are 16th ounce Texas rig uh, ball head jigs. And they work phenomenal. Phenomenal, guys. Also, what I have found. Here's a little tip. You know how you got your little elegant, beautiful little skirt down here on these little uh, things? I have found if you take one of these E-Mans. And this is a really salty part. Because you don't want to bite these sons of guns because they're nasty. Highly, highly, not not toxic. Man, they're disgusting. Really salty. Take and cut it. Alright, take this little piece right here off of the Z-Man. And do it just like you rigged up the shaky head. Just take this little bugger right here. Feed her through. Ow, that really freaking hurt. Alright. I always have this part sticking out. The part you just cut, make it go in. Alright, there we go. And then I'll take and trim up that skirt. That way you can see it a little bit more. But there's a little TRD on it. And these work really good too. As little trailers. But yeah, take and trim this up just a hair, you know, where the smallies can see it. And do a slow roll on the smallies and that works phenomenal but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end that here like always y'all stay nerdy out there my friends this is Josh signing off Marco! <laughs>